We have two areas of low pressure, one towards the west and one right over Visayas in the Philippines. And this has been bringing rain. This is LPA 99W and also 90W. You know, these are the areas we've been talking about for over a week. We said they were going to increase rainfall. May not become a full-on typhoon, but still has been creating flooding, even some reports of severe weather. You can see here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, still bringing in some rain across a good portion of Luzon, including around Manila and into the Laguna Lake area, where this image, Maria sent this in, of a water spout out there from one of these storms. Also fairly gusty. Uh, conditions in and in parts of uh, Quezon City just when shown there and still towards the north of all of this we have these fronts moving across Taiwan and some pretty interesting clouds these is asparatus clouds pretty cool uh, thing to see my point is there's a lot of weather happening here we may not have a full-on you know name storm system here but with two lpas moisture wrapping around we get that front over taiwan that's going to be dipping down as we go ahead into the weekend there is lots of rain plenty of weather and on top of that the long range gfs is still showing something ECMWF kind of, but the long range GFS really still wants to develop a storm system here. Another one, uh, I should say. So let's take a look at the short range first. We have our guidance here kind of indicating that southwesterly flow, wrapping it around like that. Uh, still by Thursday and the Friday may get a little bit of a break here, but you know what my concern is? Look at this front that dips on down. That's going to slice up and basically hit those uh, southerly winds. May create some squalls across a good portion of Luzon due to that interaction here. Um, thus, you can see right here, you get that rainfall also across parts of China over towards Japan and the southwesterly flow, southeasterly flow, I should say, uh, kind of coming in. You know what's really interesting? about all this look back this way and then that moisture moving in the china this is more and more setting up the southwest monsoon aka the habagat here uh really starting to see this more and more i mean for places like manila pangat sinan all up and down region one over towards the locos norte um you're you're seeing more moisture in the forecast so it seems like your dry season kind of starting to wind down here because of that enhanced monsoonal flow these low pressure areas may not have been a full typhoon but it does feel like they've kind of kicked off that monsoon it may not be official yet i'm just saying those more humid conditions and it feels like the changing of the season really setting in uh, across our area here let's take a look at the flyover though give you a good idea of what you can expect maybe not so much in the long term but how about here on thursday still got the easterlies across parts of mindanao a little break into taklavan afternoon showers possible into cebu while we scroll off towards the west of palawan 32 degrees got a chance of some rain look at martinique 28 cloud cover keeping you a little bit cooler here on your thursday while we scoot off towards manila 33 and afternoon showers really all the case across the cagayan valley as well as more kind of a humid westerly flow on thursday for region one so yeah there's plenty going on here as far as you know kind of the total setups uh, all around the philippines in the western pacific so with that said Let's scoot over to Windy here. We're going to show you what the GFS shows on Tuesday the 13th, Wednesday the 14th, and Thursday the 15th. See that right there? Yeah. The GFS trying to pick up something again. Now, if you look at the ECMWF at the same time, it doesn't really have much. But let's scroll on through, kind of see where it kind of wants to develop something in that area off of the east coast of the Philippines. Mm, it's... uh yeah and this is the gfs actually mid-level see how it just wants to develop storm and just run it up but this is the other thing i'm kind of curious about see how it pulls away and the gfs really picking up by mid to late may look at our just full-on river of moisture full-on southwest monsoon uh setting in so right now we kind of we're it's turning the key it's it's the engine's trying to turn over if we get another storm it would full-on turn the engine over and we would for sure uh be looking at an increase in precipitation here so plenty to watch out for let's just leave it at that um, right now, though, a lot of rain. We got this kind of multiple areas of low pressure overhead, bringing those scattered showers. So if you have any questions about your area, please let me know in the comment box down below. If you want to see more of these updates and you want to, I don't know, support the channel, that'd be cool. Um, check out our Patreon link down below as well. Or maybe you can become a YouTube member here as well. So as always, thanks for watching. Number one thing, of course, is please, friends, 
stay safe out there, right?